Hey Bill, Nicholas Mark here from the Mr. Vivarium YouTube channel and Instagram account. And I've got a question for you. Have you ever tried the Stephanotis plant, AKA Madagascar Jasmine and any of your chameleon setups? And if so, have your chameleons munched on them like the veiled? And if they have, were they sick? Were they not? What are your thoughts on this? Hello, Nicholas. Thank you for your question. And the answer is yes, I have used Stephanotis with my chameleons. Uh, this is the, my Stephanotis that I have in my cage here. Uh, it's uh, enjoying a life with a thornless blackberry and a little nasturtium. Now, the important part of that, about that question was actually, have I used it with a veiled chameleon? Because as we know, veiled chameleons like to munch on things. And so when uh, people ask, uh, is this plant good for chameleons? Um, it, it has to be good for, uh, does it provide structure? Does it provide water, uh, drinking surface and such like that? Uh, the second part is, uh, can it uh, survive in a chameleon environment? And third is the one that uh, people mostly ask for and which Nicholas is asking for is, would it be safe for a chameleon? And that last question is what we're going to focus on. Uh, the question as to whether it's going to be safe is difficult because different plants are safe for different animals. Uh, and what is safe for dogs and cats may not be safe for reptiles and definitely what is poisonous for dogs, cats, and humans may be just fine for a chameleon. And so we in the community have a challenge as to figure out what plants are dangerous for our chameleons. And I can tell you, that over the many years and decades, I've actually not seen a case where we've actually had plant poisoning in a chameleon. Uh, chameleons routinely eat the plants that are on the toxic plant list, like pothos, schifflera. The most common plants that uh, we use in chameleons are actually on the toxic list. And that's because they have oxalates in their leaves and those are little structures that mechanically uh, irritate the throat as they go down. The veiled chameleons have absolutely no problem with it and they chow down their pothos <laughs> without abandon. Uh, there's also other uh, plants that are very toxic like crotons, but veiled chameleons will eat the crotons and not suffer any ill effects. And so uh, we're really experimenting uh, in real time with the community and gathering information to figure out how to answer that question. Uh, I do want to warn you, uh, be very cautious as to where you get your information as to what plants are safe, because most places will just take a, a human, cat, dog safe list and put chameleon over it. Uh, that's not accurate. Uh, on the Chameleon Academy, I specifically look for instances where uh, veiled chameleons took a bite out of the leaf and showed no ill effects. And so uh, on the chameleonacademy.com uh, backslash plants, you're going to see a, uh, a plant list and a, uh, some of them have a designation of veiled tested. And that means that uh, we have a record of a veiled eating it and not having a problem. Now, just because we haven't run across a plant that we can say, okay, this did give veiled chameleon a poisoning, doesn't mean that there isn't a plant out there that will poison the veiled chameleon. And so we need to keep aware as to what's going on because a poison is number one, a substance that is bad for the chameleon, and number two, is taken in in a enough dose that it's going to be toxic. And so with those two together, I mean, some plants may be toxic, but the veiled chameleon won't eat enough of it to, uh, to become a problem. So there's a lot of moving parts here. But in conclusion, if you're looking for a plant for your chameleon that you know has been tested, you can go to the chameleonacademy.com uh, website and take a look at the plants page and you will find a handout that gives you a list of plant species that we've tested over and over again, as well as an entire description of how to use those plants. And as for you, Nicholas, uh, yeah, I don't have the answer as to whether it would be damaging to a veiled chameleon, but uh, they're wonderful plants. I love my Stephanotis. And if you test it out with your veiled chameleon, please let me know how it goes.